And um, this is sort of an emergency commentary. Um, we were never going to, never plan to do a commentary, and we're doing this at half past six at night in uh, GMT time. Um, and it, it, it should go up tonight, even if it's really late in the morning. We want to get, we wanted to get this out as soon as possible. Um, we basically just wanted to say. Uh, to any like any Norwegian, um, that like the whole world is with you really. Um, for those of you who don't know, um, Norwegian uh, Prime Minister's office, like the sort of the equivalent of the White House, um, there's a massive bomb inside it, or car bomb, or just a massive bomb. And basically, it's killed two people and injured them um, about 20, I think. Um, but yeah, uh, we know how it feels like in the UK, and the Americans especially know how it feels like. Um, we've had 7 7, they've had 9 11. 9 11, there were so many casualties and deaths, and it was horrific. And um, the positive of 7 7 and this Norwegian like bomb attack is that there's not as many deaths but I mean I know how uh, we both know how sort of scary it is um, to be in a terrorist attack because 7-7 seven, seven, I mean we're we're not particularly close to well I'm quite close to London um, uh, uh, Retrix is not particularly close to London um, I um, all live about 20 minutes away and um, I was certain and everyone where I live was certain that it was, wasn't was going to affect us, um, the whole 7-7 seven, seven bombings, but we, like, we know how it feels because of the 7-7 seven, seven bombings, we know how scary it is um, when you know it's so close to home and even if you like don't live anywhere near Oslo, um, we know it's still like a scary experience and like the whole world's with you, you know. Um, it's, it's easy to see that from all the support. I mean, Guns for High has done a video, um, but yeah, I mean, we're not just sort of jumping on the bandwagon thinking, oh, this is going to get loads of views if I make a video about it because it's like a big topic at the moment. We just, we really wanted you guys to know. like just really that we're we're with you and we know how it feels and well yeah it's awful I mean terrorism is awful but it's especially awful when the terrorism's in your country Adam what do you know about it? I, I only found out a few minutes ago yeah I mean yeah they think it's Al Qaeda don't they? yeah yeah yeah, that's what I know. He's on the title of the Guns for Iron video. It was them. Why would they do it anyway? What has Norway ever done? Yeah, I mean, Norway. I mean, like, I understand the US and the UK, them, them trying to be, like, terrorism against us because we went to Afghanistan and we disrupted their land or whatever we did to them. And fine, we might have pissed them off a bit, but Norway, Norway's never ever done anything towards you guys at all. And I think it's sick. I mean, everyone thinks terrorism's sick, but I think it's, it's especially sick when it's just horrific when it's, when it's a, when it's an innocent person. Like, fine, yeah, terrorism is awful. And they argue that we deserved it, but I don't know how they're going to argue that Nor at Norway, um, because they're, they're the most peaceful country in the world, and it's just sick that terrorists now feel that they have to pick on innocent countries. That very tragic. Yeah. Even though there's not a lot of deaths and not a lot of casualties, it's still awful when it's in your own country. And if you live if you live near Oslo, it's especially 
scary because you know how close it is to home. And I mean, I remember when all my, when 9/11 was happened, I was only about four. Could I have been four? Yeah, I, I was four. And um, I remember it. And as well, um, for those of you who live in the UK and know about London, um, Canary Wharf is sort of like the UK's equivalent to the Empire State, and uh, there's a big shopping centre underneath it. And it was just after, it was, uh, I think it was after my nan's birthday or something. And um, my mum and my nan were up in, up in London in this shopping centre place underneath Canary Wharf when it happened and everyone said that they're going to hit that next and I just remember being so scared and all I would say is like if you if you if you have your family members in Oslo or yeah if you have family members in Oslo or anywhere in Norway then be so grateful that they they, they came home because so many people, 9/11, just went to just went to work for a normal day, and then didn't come back. And so, like so many people went to work on a normal day, not as many people, but still a lot of people went to work for a normal day on 7/7 and and didn't come back. And I mean, I feel for the families that have lost in Oslo, and lost in 9/11, and lost and lost in 7-7 because they were three of the most biggest Nine. horrific Nine. scares like pretty much terrorism scares ever and I mean most people have been alive well most people watching this I think have been alive for all three of them even if you don't really remember 9-11 or whatever um, it's still horrific I just feel for any family or is empty. whoever that 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 haven't made it home, and I mean I think there's only two deaths, but still, anyone who's in Oslo is so scary because you're but you're constantly you're basically constantly trying to get hold of them just to check that they're still alright, and I mean that must be the scariest experience ever. And I mean I wasn't really young enough to remember it, but I know now if those. If I was in that situation again, I'd, I'd be so scared, and it sort of make. And I think, uh, and uh, however much it hurts me to say it, that's what terrorism is. They want you to be scared. They want you to feel insecure, and they want to terrorise. And it's 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 awful. As well, I think there were shootings, wasn't there, Adam? Yeah, no, you can't. Yeah. Um, Man dressed in a I don't know how much of this is true and how much isn't. But um, a man just as a policeman um, went into a youth camp around about the same time the bomb went off and uh, shot children. Um, and as well, I think. Um, I mean, well, I don't. I don't think uh, I've heard from loads of different people, different stories, but I've heard that um, they told them to, because of the youth camps on an island, they told them all to swim, like swim to safety, swim to the shore, which is about half a mile off land. And um, if they stopped swimming, like if they couldn't swim anymore before they got back, then they'd use them as target practice and they'd shoot. And then make them try and make them swim. And if they didn't drown, they'd just and they stopped again. And they just they'd just shoot them on the spot. They would just use them as target practice, basically. And I mean, if it is Al Qaeda, then I mean, I do. I hope it's Al Qaeda, and I know that really is sick. But I hope it's Al Qaeda for the simple reason that if it's someone else, then we've got another group of terrorists. And if if there's if more and more terrorists come along, then if we've got Al Qaeda, we can wipe Al Qaeda out. Um, and then that's that. I'm um, obviously that won't be the end of terrorism, but it'll be in it'll be the end of the whole this wave of terrorism. And I mean, I suppose if there's like another group of terrorists, then 
it's it's really bad because then we'd have to wipe them out as well and I know I'm saying oh wipe them out wipe them out like it's so easy and I know that we've been trying for years and years as, as collectively as a whole world but surely the more and more it realizes and I, I know this is like YouTube and I mean it, it doesn't mean anything really but everyone always talks about um, hate in the YouTube community and the whole thing between well the whole idea of if everyone hates everyone else then like you can't work as collectively and I mean that's what the world's got to do I mean obviously you're going to have enemies but everyone's got to work together I mean especially terrorism probably the biggest one people have got to work together on because terrorism is just so bad and I know, I know for a fact I'd if I knew that there would never ever be terrorism ever again, then, then yeah, I'd, I'd give my own life, I think. Wouldn't you, Adam? If someone said to you, and and they proved it was true, um, they could kill you to stop terrorism, would you? Would you let them kill you? No. You wouldn't? <laughs> You wouldn't let them kill you. To stop terrorism for, for good. I would. I wouldn't. What? <laughs> what I said is, would you like sacrifice yourself um, to stop terrorism for good if you knew it would actually stop it, stop it for good? Yes, I would. Definitely. I mean, I know 99% of people would and that 1% that didn't are just selfish bastards and they should be strung up with Al Qaeda mm -hmm. I know I, that sounds really harsh but it makes me angry to think that people wouldn't give their own lives for thousands and thousands of lives that have been lost because of this group of terrorists or just terrorists but if we get any more news on um, on Norway then um, I think we'll do sort of a, a, a quick commentary we won't put a video to it like this we'll probably just put a screen um, so it's quicker to render and quicker to upload so we can get the news out there for you guys um, so yeah but, um, sorry if I've ranted along a bit um, but I'll post, uh, during the USA, I'll post the New York Times link to the Oslo page. And if you're in the UK, I'll post, um, uh, the BBC News page about the Oslo explosions. And if you're in and if you're in Norway, then um, like my my heart and the whole world's heart goes out to you um, because it's really awful terrorism. And um, I will post a like Norway. If you don't know the full story, then I will post a Norwegian news link as well in the description. But. I'm not going to ask for likes, favourites and subscribes and stuff. Um, I'm just going to say, like, I hope everything clears up. And to be honest, I hope terrorism in general just disappears. And I know mean, it sounds really mean because I'm sort of talking about death and how bad it is and stuff. But I hope that, to be honest, I hope that the terrorists are strung up. And that's the end. And that's the end of it. And I know there's never ever gonna be complete peace on Earth because it's so easy to start an argument, and that can change everything. But yeah, I'm Fatal Designs, guys, and I'm Fatal Retrix. And um, like, God bless anyone caught up in the Ozzy attacks. Bye, guys.